Hi and welcome to today's video. In today's video I want to discuss installments on NetSuite which is a pretty recent feature that not many people know about and are using but it's quite interesting when you want to pay your vendors you know you receive a bill now but maybe you want to pay them for the next like over the next three months or so and maybe even invoicing your customers and then they decide to pay you over a three months period. Now, the way to activate this functionality is as an administrator, you need to go to Setup, Company, Enable Features. And then within the Advanced functionality of the Accounting tab, you scroll down, you're going to see the Advanced Features. Scroll all the way down and you're going to see there's the installments here. Just tick this and then save it. Once you've saved it, you can go to Setup, Accounting, accounting lists you're going to see the list of terms currently on NetSuite and of course you're going to have to click on new I already created one for the purpose of this demo so I named it and I said that uh, I want that to be 60 days till net June what does this mean Okay, NetSuite is saying enter the number of days until the net amount of the bill becomes due. For example, if you're creating a term of net 30, enter 30 in this field. Okay, so what I did is I gave it 60 days. Now I said that I want that to be on a uh, frequency of months. I want it to be over two months and repeat every month. I ticked the installment tick box very important if you want to set this term as an installment and I decided to split the invoices or bills to the amounts evenly across the number of periods I want that to be split on and I decided to pay the taxes up front if I untick this taxes are going to be split uh, according to the number of months uh, the frequency of this uh, installment now let's see what it actually looks like on an invoice so i'm here on a customer invoice and it's a standard product invoice uh, let's go to the item so it's a 2400 amount and there is a vat of 480. if i go to the bidding section you can see here that i've set the terms over two months okay and let's have a look at the aging report for this customer now you see here on the aging it puts the line as uh, each specific for the age so a portion is going to be due in 60 days as i mentioned on the uh, on the installment on the payment term itself remember i said that i wanted to start this uh, within 60 days for the net due and the second one is going to be uh, 90 days okay so that's quite interesting to know uh, how much money the customer owes you and when however the total of this transaction is still going to the receivables account right now which is quite funny so if you go to your um, GL impact which is here you will see that the receivables account show a 2880 euro uh, debit now if I go to reports financial and let's have a look at the balance sheet detail now as you can see on the receivable account I've got the date which is the transaction date of today and it's saying that this is the sum of money that the customer owes us so even though there is an installment that has been set up NetSuite still treats this as an amount which is due as per today it's just that on the receivable then you'll know that it's not really due yet in terms of when the customer should be paying us now if you go to the invoice and you scroll down i don't think i spent enough time showing you this but if you look at the bottom here you will see the installments you will see when the next due date is which is uh, 60 60 days uh, as from now okay so that's going to be the end of september as well on the 1st of august the amount for the first uh, payment is going to include vat and the second one which is going to be the following month is good, not going to include any vat right now you can even follow the statuses of the installments 
and basically that's the way you're going to be managing your invoices okay that's all for today i hope this video was useful to you if so don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and i will see you on the next video thank you and goodbye